Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and in today's training, I'm going to talk about um, a, a, a problem that I'm seeing a lot of people run into um, when promoting their businesses via Facebook. So a lot of people are getting, you know, I, mean, I probably get, um, you know, three or four emails a week about people getting their Facebook ad account, account shut down and, and what should they do. And, you know, I always say, in the very beginning, you know, appeal it because Facebook does make mistakes. Um, that's a whole nother training video, a whole nother process of, you know, what you should do if you get your Facebook ad account shut down. I'm talking about your, like your personal ad account, not like your business manager account, but your personal ad account. So what I want to do here is I actually want to show you um, how to set something up to where you have multiple ad accounts. And then that way, if one of your ad accounts does get shut down, you will have backup accounts, meaning if one of them gets shut down, all you got to do is go start doing the, you know, just move your, your ads over or just start creating new ads, I should say, in your new ad account. But there's a process that you have to go through in order for this to actually work. And so I want you to follow along with this and uh, make sure that you have covered all the bases so it works for you. So I'm in one of our businesses ad accounts right now. Um, I'm actually just in the Facebook account. So I've logged into Facebook and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to one of our business manager accounts. So this is our vegan niche, so it's my vegan dreams. And um, what you're gonna have to do in order to open up a business account, and if you've never done that before, um, you're gonna need to go to business.facebook.com. All right, and it should take you through a process to actually set one up um, if you don't have one yet. So you'll definitely wanna set one up, go through the process that. You might have to you know, Google tutorials or go through Facebook tutorials to, to really, if you get confused on how to do it, but it's really, really simple to do. But once you have that business account set up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come over to these three little lines on the left called the business manager. And if you don't see business manager settings here, just click on all tools right here and you'll be able to find it over here to the far right. So you're gonna to wanna to click on that. We're gonna go into the settings and what we're gonna do is, is you're gonna come over to the actual, um, you'll go over here to the left here, it'll say add account. So click on add accounts. Now, if you've never done this before, you're only going to see one ad account in your business manager. So when we started this business manager account, this number ad account was the only one in here. But now you can see all of these other ad accounts in here. Now, here's the deal. Um, you know, I think you can add like 50 ad accounts in here, maybe 30 something, 40 something. It depends. Um, I've seen some people only have you know, the ability to add a, you know, a couple of different ad accounts in their business manager. Um, either way, you can always request to get more ad accounts added if that's the case, or over time, Facebook will add, will give you the ability to add more accounts as you, you know, continue to advertise. So here's the process that you must go through. So again, you'll already have one ad account here, um, you know, going through the business manager, you know, I'm not going to do a tutorial here in, in this actual, um, video, but I want to show you how to continue advertising if your ad account gets shut down. So what you're going to do is come over to the right here and you're going to click add a new account. Now I've already started this process. It's, it's a little bit time consuming. I mean, it's not really that time consuming, but um, I, I've just done it over, you know, the course of a couple of days. And you can see I already am up to 14 ad accounts. So what happens is, is if this ad account were to get shut down, I could come over into this next one, like My Vegan Dreams 1, and I can actually start running ads in this one. So we could go right here and click View Ad Manager. So it's actually going through the whole process. If this is for a brand new ad account, which it is, and I could start creating ads. Now the key here is, is you don't wanna do anything to this ad account, these extra ad accounts, until your other one gets shut down. What I mean by that is, is you don't want to add in a credit card, a payment that you're gonna use. So let me just walk you through what it's gonna look like when you start adding it. So I need to do another one, so I'm just gonna do My Vegan Dreams, and I'm, it's gonna be number 15, that's the 15th ad account. So I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna say add a new ad account, so create a new ad account, and I'm gonna call it My Vegan Dreams, and this is the 15th ad account. 
Um, I'm advertising on behalf of my vegan dreams. You don't really need to change any of this. No payment methods available. Now, there may be a section in here that gives you a drop down box to add in a payment method. Do not add in a payment method, okay? Let me say that again. Do not add in a payment method on these extra accounts because if the first one gets shut down and you have a payment method in all of these other accounts that's the same as the one in that original account, all of these are going to get shut down too because Facebook's going to shut it down according to that payment method or they're obviously not going to let you use it. So, um, and I don't know if you've ever experienced that when you go try to open up another ad account, like people have done it in like their husband's personal account, they've gone and they tried to run ads in their husband's account or their business friend's account and they try to add that credit card that it was associated with the other ad account that was shut down and they can't. So don't add in a payment. It's the same thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the account. And then you're going to get another screen here that's going to say, hey, do you want to add people to it? I'm not going to add anybody to this yet. Um, you know, you certainly, you certainly can add account admin or you can just skip it. So let's just say I'm going to add Megan to this or let me just add Judy to it. I'm going to make her an add account admin. It doesn't matter whether you do this or not, but you can skip it or just click save changes. And you can see right here, Note, to use this ad account, you'll need to select a payment method. If you need to set up a new payment method, please go to payment methods and add the payment method to your business, okay? So right now we're not doing that. So again, if we're in this ad account here, which is the one, let me just show you, I'm going to view the ads in the ad account manager. You'll see that we're actually running ads in this ad account. It's pulling up here. It's a little slow. Okay, so you can see we've got, you know, a likes ad running for this business and we're advertising her book, her book right. Ugh, I can't speak today. Book right now. So if this were to get shut down, all I would have to do is say, okay, in this little drop down, I'm ready to start advertising in the next one, My Vegan Dreams. One. And then I would go through the process of setting up this ad. And at the very end, obviously, it's going to ask me to set up a payment method. Or I could just click this little drop down here and I could go over to billing and payment methods. And you can see right here, I'm in my Vegan Dreams 1 and I would add that payment method right there. So this way, um, you'll have backups. Instead of having to do it kind of the old way where you have to go and create a brand new profile, which is against the Facebook you know, policies. Um, you can use like your husband's account or your business account. I mean, your business partner's personal account to run new ads, but this is much easier because you're still within your profile. All right. So this business just happens to be ran out of our daughter's profile. So that's why you're, you might be saying, well, this isn't your profile, Michelle. This is just a little bit different because it's our daughter's business. And I'm just showing you in her ad account, because if I go into mine, you're going to see that I've already maxed out the ad account. So let's just look at that real quick. Gee, I've got the access to that, but that's not going to actually work because she doesn't have access to all of the ad accounts that I've created. So let me log out here. And then I'll show you that um, we've actually maxed that out. And so I've created the maximum number of accounts that I can in this ad manager here, or this business manager, I should say. So I'm gonna click on this little arrow right here. If it'll cooperate with me, which it's not. It's just taking a little while. Okay, let's go to the business manager. And we're gonna to go to, you can see, I've got 36 ad accounts in here. So if one of them gets shut down, yeah, I'm going to have to have 36 different credit cards because once an ad account is shut down, your credit card's banned with it. But that's a simple solution, guys. All you have to do is go to your bank, ask for a new credit card with a new number. You know, it's the same. Just say, hey, guys, I lost my, uh, you know, my Amex card. I need a new card, but I need a new number. Um, and they'll, re they'll replace that for you and give you a new number. So right now I have 36 ad accounts in here. That was the maximum that I can do. Again, yours may, be, yours may vary, but for the most part, this was a brand new business manager account when we did this and we got to put 36 different accounts in there. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope that really helps out. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to be a great solution for all of you guys out there that are stressed out and concerned about getting your ad account shut down, but I can't stress enough stress enough to you. Make sure that you actually read what you can and can't do on Facebook. 
um, because, you know, that's that's the big thing. I mean, a lot of people are getting their ad accounts shut down because of, you know, the types of things they are promoting or, you know, their, their landing pages, you know, aren't compliant. Um, there's, the, you know, the images, they're getting high negative feedback. That's a big one is negative feedback um, because it's all about the user experience to Facebook. They want the users to be happy. And as if you are an advertiser and you're creating a negative experience for their users, they're going to shut you down. So you need to always be, you know, making sure that you're looking at that user experience. So if you have any questions, let us know. Visit our blog at onlinewealthpartner.com. You may be actually watching this video there, but visit our blog there. We have a lot of courses. We got a lot of trainings over there where we can help you out. And we even have one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want to find out more about that one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, I'll put a strategy session form below this video um, or around this video, or you can go to our blog at online onlinewealthpartner.com and click on strategy session. You can talk to one of our coaches to talk about hiring us for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, we'll be happy to do that for you. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of people get a lot of results. And you know what? It really creates a shortcut for you and your business when you hire someone on one-on-one -on -one to help you in your business. So I hope you got value out of this. Um, we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.